Hello, this is Bill Webb, aka Billy Indiana. And today I've got another Kickstarter unboxing, and one that just arrived today, and it is Chai by Dan and Connie Kazmaier. Let's check out what's in this box. Uh -oh. So technically this Kickstarter was the high T expansion Kickstarter, but I didn't have the base game of Chai, so I went ahead and picked that up as well. But let's push this off to the side for a second, let's see what came in the actual Kickstarter, and then for those that haven't seen Chai, we'll do that at the end. Alright, so as part of the Kickstarter, there's this Chai neoprene mat. It's a little wrinkly from being folded up for a while, I guess, but it's really pretty. Maybe take an iron at really low temperature and see if we can iron out some of the wrinkles, but it looks great otherwise. And then there's some acrylic tokens that come in here as part of the Kickstarter. And so I think these are the tip jar tokens. And so on one side it looks like a jar, and then on the other side different kind of items that come in the tip jar. So you can see a few different things. I haven't played Chai, and so I'm not sure exactly what this is all about. <laughs> Looking forward to playing it. I, I've heard it's a pretty light game, but um, it looks really interesting in terms of the movement of the tiles on the board. And my wife and I tend to enjoy some of those lighter games just to fill in an evening when we don't have a lot of time or maybe don't have the mental energy after a long day at school to really dig into a meaty game. And I think there's some interesting decisions to be made. And then these are the different ingredient tokens that are acrylic. So you can see they're really nice chunky ones. Looks like we got some vanilla and maybe wild and some honey. Uh, and then uh, let's see some cinnamon and a variety of things. Maybe some milk and sugar. So lots of different things here that come on these tokens. I think that's about all the different. Yep, I think that's about all the different ones that show up here on these tokens. So that's pretty cool. Lots of them. And again, not exactly sure how they fit into the game, uh, but looking forward to learning the game and checking that out. And then these nice little bags, I assume, for those to go into. All right, let's check out the expansion here. Let's see what I do with my knife. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so this expansion is just a small box expansion to the game. And... Um, like I said, I don't know about the regular game yet, but here's what it says on this one. Requires Chai game to play. It's an expansion component. Six times double-sided ability tea room boards featuring masala chai, British afternoon tea, gong fu tea ceremony, Chinese wedding tea ceremony, Japanese way of tea ceremony, mag magrabi, mint tea, uh, yerba mate, horchata, Turkish tea, Russian samovar tea, Tibetan butter tea, and Kashmiri pink noon chai. One pantry resource die, one market resource die for ages eight and up. And this is again by Steeped Games, Dan and Connie Kazmaier. Let's see. Doesn't seem to want to come open. I don't know if it's taped shut or just tight. <laughs> Doesn't feel taped anywhere, but there we go. It's just really tight. Got one side starting to work loose. There we go. All right. So the high T expansion here. We've got the rule book, just a tiny little pamphlet on, I suppose, how to add this into the base game. Optional add dice to any game mode. All right. And then you've just got this nice little container here with the decorated inbox. And all right, these look like, I assume they would be cards, but it's been a while since this Kickstarter, so I didn't remember. We've got some nice clear acrylic dice. Those are cool. Looks like it has those same ingredients. I see lemon or some different ones, uh, some strawberry and blueberry. Uh, see some ginger it looks like, lavender, and then it looks like these are the uh, tiles for the different types of tea. And the different ceremonies it looks like as well. Double-sided, nice thick cardboard tiles. And it looks like on each side there's something different, like I said, a different type of tea or different type of tea ceremony as was mentioned there on the box. So that's what comes in the Chai High Tea Expansion. And so now let's check out what's in the deluxe box. So if you already know, 
you can skip on ahead to uh, the closing if you'd like. But otherwise, stick around if you want to see what's in that box, and let's check it out. All right, so chai, like I said, a lot of people have said it's kind of on the lighter side, which doesn't necessarily turn myself or my wife off in our gaming style. We play some heavier games, but we kind of tend towards the lighter medium, and we also tend to play games with family and friends who aren't necessarily um, as into playing games as we are, and so having a lot of games that are really attractive and fun and easy to learn are nice for us to be able to use in those situations. All right, an immersive tea board game. Deluxe components, it lists all of them here. 20 to 60 minutes, 8 and up, 1 to 5 players. All right, let's check it out. And this is the deluxe version that came, I think, in the original Kickstarter. We've got the game set up. We've got a Watch It Played video link here. And then we've got Objective. Visit the market, visit the pantry, reserve and use an ability, fulfilling an order, end of round, and then solo rules, co-op rules, and credits. So, there's the rules. <laughs> Them's the rules. And then here we've got our, I think this is uh, what some of the acrylic tokens will replace for the tip jar. And then we've got our coins. All right. And, oh, nice little container here, the game trays. And then we got all the, this is the acrylic pieces are going to replace these, I think, for the, looks like uh, cinnamon, honey, milk, sugar, and vanilla. So we'll be, I think, putting them into this little container. And there's a little token here, a green tea kettle. We've got a bag here. See what's inside this. It says uh, it's got a nice picture of a tea cup there on one side. And then these are those kind of azul like tiles with the different ingredients that you're going to be sliding along the board. And then we've got the metal coins for the Kickstarter to replace those cardboard coins. We'll open this up and take a look. And there's a nice big single metal coin here. I think that might be replacing this green piece. It has the same art on it. And then we've got some tinier coins here. Some single value. And let's see. We've got some double value twos. And we've got some fives. Nice big, oh no, threes, sorry. And uh, throwing that teacup on the other side. All right. And then here's a uh, <laughs> thermometer. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. I forget from, again, reading through the game. It's been a while. Didn't even know it was coming. I knew it was um, stuck in different kind of shipping issues for a while and and I knew it was possible to come at any time, basically, but wasn't sure when. So I was very surprised to see it and very happy to see it. And then here it looks like we've got some wild tokens, probably also to be replaced by those acrylic ones. And then uh, we've got some other little pieces here. Not sure these are some different die. I think these die might just get replaced by the clear ones in the expansion. I'm not sure. And then we've got these little tokens here and some clips of some sort. And we've got the nice... Kind of rubberized cups here for storing the pieces. Really nice engraving there. Very full-blown design. Really cool. And then we've got the recessed player board for those tiles to slide across at value 1, value 2, and value 3. And that's the part of the game that really intrigued me was how you need to match up the tiles to draw them, but then they slide whenever someone takes them. And so you're kind of playing this little sort of Tetris or uh, Candy Crush sort of game where they're moving and then trying to get them into sets. Um, so, kind of a cool mechanism. And then it looks like these might be the player boards. So that's where we're going to... Yeah, so we got one for green, one for red, or I guess just different kind of leaves. <laughs> White, blue, dark green, red, and light green for the different pantries for the different players, I think. And then this must be like the uh, money bag. And then another nice little bag here. All right, and this has the little wooden pieces. 
So really cool different kinds of tea leaves. Yeah, look really nice. Different colors, different carvings and engravings. Those look cool. And then we've got, this is probably the, yep, Chai Cards. Comes in a little tuck box. It's nice. So I'll be curious to see how all this fits back in exactly and um, what kinds of things to keep and get rid of in terms of the upgrades. And probably won't get rid of them exactly, but figure out how to store them. Looks like there's something else in there. Okay, there we go. So they've got this same back, it looks like, with the chai cup there. And then it's just a blank order, it looks like, and then different art on the different cards for what they want to order and what needs to be in the tea. <laughs> That's funny. Some of these art pieces, we got uh, Star Trek featured there. Yeah, interesting. I'm curious to see what are on all these cards now. I won't go through the whole deck. It's a pretty thick deck, but a really nice art and specific ingredients that you're trying to put together for these different customers coming to your store. <laughs> really cool. So this kind of, oh, look, look, here's some different cards. So there's maybe all the customers. And then we've got something else here, same back, but something else, these kind of cards. And then looks like some player aids. And then maybe some more customer cards here. And then more of those other type. And then some of these blank ones. So that's the pile of cards. And that is what comes in the Chai Deluxe Edition Kickstarter version, along with the High T expansion and some of the extra little features there for this game. So if you have any questions about the game, I haven't played it yet, but I look forward to playing it soon. We're coming up on Christmas break and hoping to get a lot of the games off my shelf of opportunity. And this is one that my wife and I have been hoping to play for quite some time. So I have a pretty strong feeling we're going to get this up onto the table in the next couple of weeks. Uh, leave those questions down below or if you've played it and you want to tell me what I can look forward to, leave those comments as well. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked seeing what came in this version of the game or the expansion, it'd be terrific if you'd give it that thumbs up to show me a like the video. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel. That always helps as well. As always, thanks for watching. This is Billy Indiana signing off. Huh.